I'm here to say that after a year, Vermont Gas is in a better place. When Vermont Gas Systems announced last December that the Addison Natural Gas Project would cost 80% more than the original estimate, Don Rendell was newly tapped to be the utility's next CEO. I have lots of moments where I say I, I, I could have done a better job than I did. In a candid conversation with reporters, an overwhelmingly positive Rendell looked back on his first year. He talked about the protests at pipeline work sites, Vermont Gas's dealings with landowners, and the regulatory hearings they're involved in that are expected to continue into 2016. We, we have a very strong interest, an intense interest, in, in doing the right thing by our customers. Rendell made it a point to say not everything going on at Vermont Gas has made headlines. According to the CEO, the utility added 1,300 customers this year in Franklin and Chittenden counties. It's working to make heating apartments more efficient and affordable to tenants. And this year, Vermont Gas dropped rates by 8 percent. I am deeply appreciative. Of as far as the pipeline goes, the executive says they've reached agreements with 98 percent of the landowners along the corridor. And he says about a quarter of the pipeline is in the ground. So the question is, what can ratepayers expect from the CEO in year two on the job? Rendell says the pipeline project will be done by late 2016 and won't cost more than $134 million. That's the most important way that we can build the, the, the confidence and the case for bringing natural gas service to new Vermont families and businesses in the future. In South Burlington, Hannah McDonald, WPTZ News Channel 5.